I just want a nice, easy project, like these little foxes I saw advertised on my Facebook page. What could possibly go wrong with an adorable little forest friend? And that's when I remember. I can't draw. I spend 30 minutes sketching and re-sketching a fox before chopping it down and attempting to use my ancient joiner as a planer. Fun fact, I am terrified of this thing. When I cut off my thumb, multiple strangers told me about how they lost something in a joiner. Plus, this thing is older than my father and has zero safety features. So, push sticks. My bandsaw is also really old, but this is actually kind of a nice vintage one that people pay lots of money for on eBay, so I am not quite as scared of it. Also worth noting, I did not pay lots of money on eBay. This like came with my house. I know, it's weird. We replaced the blade on it last month, so it's cutting this really hard kumaru like butter. My face does not show my excitement, but trust me, I am screaming on the inside. I don't really have a good way to cut the legs on this thing. Like, I could try cutting it with a table saw, but this makes little red safety flags pop up in my head, although I can't really verbalize why. Instead, I think I will drill some holes with the drill press and then finish it off with the bandsaw. If life were a video game, this strategy would totally get me a skill level bump. Alas. Mr. Fox still kind of needs a facelift, so I cobble together a benchtop belt sander and theoretically make him better. I curve his head. I sand away the bandsaw marks. I thin him down a bit because I still think he's a little thick. Take a guess what happens right now. Just take a guess. spend another 20 minutes painstakingly redrawing Mr. Fox, complete with speed square for symmetry. That's what all the real artists use, right? As fun as it would be to let my sketching speak for itself, it's probably best if I craft some accessories, like a tail and a snout. Luckily, my belt sander is made up of Harbor Freight's finest and can more than handle the job, as can the ratchet straps, which I'd like to declare the MVT of the project. Bravely converting the handheld belt sander into a benchtop belt sander made this project possible. And the ratchet straps would appreciate it if you hit the like button below in their honor. Or maybe just because these videos take a ton of work to make and it would help me out a lot. Thanks. At the moment, Mr. Fox is less foxy and more Blanca the faceless animal crossing cat. So I'm going to make some eye holes and a nose hole and then maybe paint on a face. And this is where Blanca the Faceless Cat analogy gets a little too real because I am making a huge mistake here. Like, massive, and I should have known better. And if you can guess what it is in the comments below, I will give you major internet points. What a win. But we'll come back to that. Assembling Foxy Mr. Fox is the fun and easy part where the support piece is glued to the back and the nails go in the eye hole and the tail ruins everything. So not only did I split the tail, but I also forgot that the front piece has a cutout here. So I have to remake the support piece too, which is fine. Everything is fine. That should be the subtitle of this channel. Everything is fine. But actually, everything is not fine because the white paint has turned yellow. Yellow, y'all. Remember my big mistake like 30 seconds ago? I didn't prime before I painted, and this wood apparently has all sorts of tannins in it. So I'll slap some primer on, and then I'll slap some paint, and then some finish, and then I'll give it to my mom for Christmas, except I forgot she got LASIK surgery and doesn't actually need a glasses holder anymore. But she told me she loves it anyway and puts her sunglasses on it, because that's what moms do. Thanks, mom.